What's up, guys? It's Winter. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be diving into the OGM Cloud from Wise Owl. So just a quick note before we dive in, Wise Owl did provide me with the OGM Cloud and the 4K dongle for testing and review. However, all opinions and statements in this review are entirely my own. So let's go over the specs of this mouse. Um, it comes in at 126 by 68 by 38 with a grip width of 57 millimeters and it weighs in at around 55 grams. It features a feather coating with a smooth feel, the Pixar Paul 3395 sensor and the Nordic NRF 52840 tri-mode MCU. In the box, you'll find the mouse, a 1K dongle, a USB cable and extra skates and some grip tape. The unboxing experience was really satisfying for this mouse. Um, it come in a solid protective box with a nice pull tab Inside, the cloud was securely enclosed in black foam and a plastic, so no worries as far as like a damaged mouse or anything in shipment. It was packaged really well inside of this. Similar with the 4K dongle, it's just a standard box. It's not as quality as the mouse box, but the same thing. You open it up and it was packaged securely in some black foam, so there's no moving around. There's no shaking, wiggle, or, you know, the device hitting the edges during shipment so everything should arrive to you fairly fairly good condition so being that i've only used the logitech g pro wireless the old one this was a huge huge difference um in feel and and build for me weight wise this mouse comes in at around 55 grams so already it's around 30 grams lighter than what I'm used to. So that was a huge plus. With the 55 grams that this mouse weighs, they advertise that it is evenly balanced in the build. And I would agree with that. Using this mouse, it feels pretty solid. There's no wobble or wiggle or anything. It stays pretty flat, pretty stationary while you're using. Other than the weight difference just being really noticeable as far as this being a lot lighter, um, I really enjoy using this mouse um, because of how light it is. So the shape of this mouse is really the only negative I have about it. It's flat from the top or from the front till about halfway. And then it has this aggressive dip and then it rounds out uh, pretty fat at the back. But this dip, when I grip it, because I guess because of my hand size, I feel like I want to like increasingly like grab this thing um, pretty tight instead of like just a, a natural fit like like my Lamzu or my uh, Sora V2 is. This one just it just feels like I have to to hold it pretty aggressive, and that was a big downside for me because I'm like my the way my brain works I feel like I'm always having to be conscious of my thumb and then my ring finger and pinky finger like just gripping this thing so it's not necessarily a negative as far as the mouse goes i know a lot of people praise this if, especially if you have bigger hands um, i would say this is more of an issue with people with smaller hands such as myself as i've used it you know i have gotten used to it it still it still feels really odd to me but i have gotten to where i'm less thinking about the grip but that was something that was a huge learning curve when I first got this and started testing it out. The coating on this mouse is also really good. It's a really smooth matte coating. So Wise Owl calls this a feather coating. Um, it's smooth and it has like a slight, it's very, very subtle, like rubbery feel, I guess. But I really, really like this coating on this mouse. Um, there's hardly any fingerprint stains unless you like look directly in light you really can't notice any oil stains or anything like that on this coating. Even during aggressive playing, like if my palm gets a little sweaty or something, uh, the coating does stay fairly dry for me. I don't have trouble maintaining a grip or anything or sliding around or whatever if my hands are damp. And I think that's a huge plus too. A lot of people talk about the coatings and having to use grip tape because they, they sweat or perspirate a lot and then they can't like, you know, they can't get a good grip on their mouse. I would say that this mouse, this coating is fine without having to use anything like that uh, to maintain good contact with this thing. So another thing that I would praise about this mouse is the build quality. Um, initially out of the box, you know, just to my new eye, it, it did look cheap and plasticky, but the build quality for this thing is pretty solid. The only thing I noticed after I did my written review, which I'll link that down in the description, I didn't have any wobbling or flexing until after that. And there's a spot right here under this first button where if I press it, there it is right here. 
right next to the logo. Um, it does have a click right there now. Um, it didn't have that before, so I don't know if maybe that was just from me squeezing it, testing it or whatever, but that's the only thing that I've found now. But other than that, this dude is built pretty solid and I do feel like I could chunk this at a wall and it would maintain its shape and, and uh, performance. side buttons on this mouse are also a highlight feature for me um, and this is an odd one because even though I dislike the shape so much because of the shape here with the thumb when I go to use the side button all I have to do is a swipe and I'm not having to be conscious about you know moving my thumb here to swipe up um, usually I macro these to the same thing um, just so I'm not accidentally hitting one or the other and doing something that I don't want to do. So just to swipe up, like if I, like in COD, I have this for melee. So if I need to melee, I just swipe up instead of having to freak out and unlock that consciousness in my brain to think about that. So I really enjoy these buttons for that because they do stick out a little bit too. The scroll wheel is decent. I do love the rotation feel that it has. The only negative thing that I can think of is I do wish that it had a lot more texture. It is just too smooth for me. But other than that, it's, you know, it's not nothing to really complain about, I guess. Uh, it's just a preference. I do wish it had a little more texture, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy the click. I enjoy the rotation feel. So I would say it's, it's pretty solid in that area too. Like I said, just wish it had a bit more texture for my, for my finger. So for the skates, I did leave the stock skates on. Um, and I did test these with the Padsmith Purple Empress, the CJX Sarah Pad Ken V2, and the um, Ariner Gecko. And it, it held up pretty solid on all of them. Um, you know, really controlling with a hint of speed, I'd say. It doesn't feel too much traction while I'm playing but I also maintain a good bit of control if need be so I, I did like the skates um, I will probably change them out to something a little bit faster but out of the box I, th I think they're really good to be stock and you know right out the box I think they perform really well so the battery life on this thing is also ridiculous I don't know if maybe it was a glitch in the software when I was doing my written review and testing, but I had it set at 2K polling um, and used that pretty consistently throughout the testing and playing with this thing. And there at the end, when I checked to see how much battery life I had, it still said I had 60%. Um, and that was with days and days of using this thing. So if that's accurate, then that's a huge plus for this mouse because it lasts a long time without needing charge. So performance wise, the uh, 2K polling for this mouse was pretty accurate. I'm um, actually going above 2K very slightly in my testing. Um, in the 4K polling though, it was kind of lacking. It wasn't getting as close to the 4K as I would like, I guess, um, especially if you're advertising it as 4K. Um, it was hitting around 3,100 to 3,400 um, at times and never it was never getting over 3,600. I don't think that's really much to complain about. It kind of puts you in a spot whether you really want to go for the, the 4K polling or not uh, with these results. Um, I part, like For me, I would perfectly be fine with just the 2K polling uh, and not worrying about the 4K because of this. So my conclusion for the Wise Owl OGM Cloud is this thing is a ridiculously solid mouse. 
My only complaint was really just because I had a smaller hand. Uh, my hand size was really the only reason I had that complaint with the shape. And I know this because everybody else with bigger hands praises this mouse and, and rightfully so. It's a, it's a super solid mouse. But with that aside, I thoroughly enjoyed using this mouse and it's actually my go-to mouse for Apex Legends because I, without this thing, I can't get any kills. Apex is not my... <laughs> It's not my best game, but with this one, I seem to uh, I seem to perform better. So this is this is now my go-to mouse when I want to play Apex Legends. I would highly highly recommend this mouse, definitely for people with big hands. That's not to say that people with smaller hands can't enjoy it. So, you know, some people may enjoy that feel, and it may not feel odd to them. So uh, I could recommend it for anybody, but definitely for people with bigger hands. Just know that if you do have a smaller hand and you buy this, that the the concave dip here it could feel awkward at first when you do get it so i want to once again thank wise out for sending the mouse and the 4k dongle out for review i really appreciate it and i really do enjoy this mouse so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the content leave a like comment subscribe if you like um, i have more content coming in the future tons of stuff being sent out so i can't wait to dive into some more stuff so this has been my first mouse review i hope you guys have enjoyed it i plan to uh try to get more thorough and not stumble over my words as much when I do these reviews and just be more informative going forward and make my content, you know, a step above what a lot of people are doing. That's my goal. I don't want to just be a, a free item guy that, that just talks about something. I really want to take these and test them and, you know, give them the time of day that they deserve as well as the brand sending this stuff out. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a good day. Peace.